Right guys, so today, the, um, the bags have come. The new bags that I'm going to be doing. So I'm, I'm well happy with them as well. It's, a, um, it's, it's been a while coming to bait and this is actually froze, so it needs a frosting. But the um, majority is going to be shelf life from now on. Through winter, I don't see much point in freezer baits unless you really want freezer baits, which is the only the only one that's really going to be a um, true freezer bait is red hot tuna because it contains tuna flakes so that's the only real one really but um, the, st the stickers have been done they just need picking up at weekend now I've gone with because the minimum I'm doing is 2 kilo I've gone with a 2 kilo bag and it, it just it's pointless having 2 bags off me when I'm, when I'm um, put, put up the bags are um, a little bit that's too big just for, just for just for one kilo it looks like there's no in them but uh, I'm, I'm really chuffed with them now these are these are the no bags so they've got a small viewing window on the bottom there which is their, um, these are uh, a 14 millimeter dumbbell pineapple and butyric acid the ones that I'm taking to water meadow with me so it's a uh, um, it's all coming along nicely I will be honest with you it's the, the sticker's gonna go on on the this part here and, and like I said I, I've had that done it's uh it's gonna be smaller than that actually. I think the three before something like that. So it's only gonna small this area. It's a um the are a pencil drawing, a watercolour pencil drawing of a hinge rig, which is my favoured with rig, and also an helicopter rig with a bottom bit on for for a different like for say I'm gonna use use the um the unit rig for one one flavoured bait which is pineapple and butyric acid and then the KBS I'll probably use the other one with a bottom bait on it's just my way of identifying what's what but it's pretty easy to do through a um, through colour to be honest with you. Now these these are 14 millimeter um shelf life pineapple and butyric acid. Now when when you get them this top bit will be heat sealed as well. So it will just be a matter of just tearing the top at the rip section, tearing the top across the top there, and then, and then you're into it. it it's a uh, but. But the thing with this is, with them being file packed, it's at the end of the session to seal it back up, and you, you're good to go. Just put them in room in a bedroom or whatever, and they're, um, you're good to go. They smell nice anyway. I'm, I'm wiping it because of condensation from from the ice. But it's a uh, um, once it's done, I'm really happy with how they have come out. Really, really happy. I couldn't be happy with it, bags to be honest. With you. They're a nice size, and it's a uh, um, I'm well happy with them. You're going to be on the um, You're going to be seeing quite a few of these around. Um, if you if you're down at Skagness a lot, like, you're going to be seeing quite a lot of them because I'm going to take some down to, to the lady in market that wanted some, and another guy who's got a taco shop he wanted some. So next year you're going to be seeing more of it down there. I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot more next year around base, around bait, and also my photography as well. So. There you go guys, that's just a quick glimpse at the new um, packaging and to be honest with you, I'm really happy with how they have because it is a lovely plastic as well, really thick, it's not, not, not cheap crap, it's uh, um, it's really nice and uh, it, it's it's up the price a little bit but, but it's for 7 quid a kilo you know you know what I mean, you're talking like 14 quid for 2 kilo, it's 14 quid for 2 kilo a bit you can't go wrong at that. I don't care what you say. I, won't, I didn't want to. I'm not passing the. Well, I, well, I'm charging on two kilo like this. This is two kilo. It will. It will be seven quid a kilo, uh, seven pound a kilo, which is fourteen quid for two kilo, which is pretty much what you're paying for a kilo of sticky bits, ain't krill? To be perfectly honest with you, but the only difference of, of that being is. That are, uh, I do KBS as well, which is also a shelf life base, so <laughs> you've got that as well. But don't be thinking that I only do dumbbells, I also do uh, um, 18s and um, not 18s, 16s. And I think there's a four, I've got a 14 tip, 14 millimeter table, but I won't be doing any smaller than that round base, it's too much hassle. If you want me to do smaller baits like that 12 millimeter and all that in round baits then I will do them yeah but I ain't messing about they're gonna cost more it's, it's a lot more messing about doing small baits it's a lot more work they're harder to they're, they're a lot harder to do 
but but then again i don't mind i i, I will do your 12 to 14 millimeter barrels like these are 14 i will do your 40 millimeter barrels at the same price as 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 i do at 16 millimeter um round bait standards because barrels just easier to roll and the, <laughs> There's no reason why you can't use these barrels. I mean, even at range, put them out with a spot. Or walk round to a mark you're fishing and put them out from a different swim with catapult. There's no reason whatsoever. And I'll tell you what, the effectiveness, the, the, the bait this year has been so effective um, using it as, as my, my fishing this year has all been based around barrels. And it's, it's been one of the best years I've ever had. And I'm putting that down to small baits. So um, there you go, guys. That's a quick, um, a quick look at the new, the new packaging. It's just a case. Now great stickers sorted. And then the, um, we're good to go. It's, I, I will more than likely, there's going to be a small sticker up in this top corner that ain't going to look very professional for the time being. That's probably going to gonna say... It will either have like a P on it for pineapple and butyric acid, or if it's KBS, it makes a KBS in it, which you can just you do once you've got it, you can. It's just for me, but once you've once you've got it, you can you can just take that off. So but there you go. I'm really happy with them. Stand up as well, so you pretty much you're not gonna have them falling over and shit like that all the time. You can stand them up or have them open, and they're. Um, you can you can have them open so you can just keep putting your hand in by getting, I know it sounds like it's it's nothing but it it's, it makes a big difference when you're out on bank if only if you're having to if your bait's like this all the time it's a pain you know, it's having to mess about opening bags so just open bag let's open it up have the baits open that side of where your where your catapult is and you're just into the bag straight away and you're not messing about having to have all all Oh, bagger um, messing about with bags all the time. So, but I'm really happy with them. Happy days.